Shall we call the meeting to order? Sure. Great. I'd like to call for nominations for chair of the school committee. I, I would nominate David Sharp. I would second that. Okay. We'll third it. <laughs> I will. Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to be in? All in favor? I want to make sure. Uh, I think I will uh, accept that. Okay. Um, we, we need to say aye first. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 David, you should be voting for yourself. Um, yeah, I won't stay. It's obnoxious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, um, Vice Chair. Um, it's not clear to me whether that's another nomination or mm -hmm. an appointment, but uh, just to be nomination. sure, I would, uh, if I could put forward a nomination for Ken Cutterbeck. Vice Chair. Sure. Okay. Sure. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All righty. I'll go I also. I'm not going to be shy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, and then, um, if it's, I wouldn't mind actually to save time uh, appointing everybody to all the positions that they had last mm -hmm. year. Second that. Second that. Does anybody uh, object to Jan? Would you accept being secretary? Yes. yes. And Mary, yep. you can frontier Thank you. rep. Thank you. And uh, collaborative is Jan. And I'm getting there. Oh, okay. uh, collaborative is Jan. Uh, and then Union 38 reps, Ken and Trevor, you can yep. take that yep. on as well, Thank and I'll join you there. Great. Capital Improvements Planning Committee is Ken. And then if there's any more policy reviews, would you be so kind, Mary? Yeah. yeah. The there policy will, there will be. <laughs> there will be. There will be. There's always. It's a constant battle. Okay, so um, just I hand this to you, or you, you are now yeah, just, just basically the same thing for I the next have a, vote. a vote on that? I think I appoint I, them, but uh, we can we can vote. We can vote too. Okay. Oh no, you make a vote. You you appoint. You're right. It says made. Uh, yeah, chair made the following appointments. Thank you. Okay. We're all set. Okay, great. Um, so uh, the minutes uh, from May second. <clears throat> Anybody have any comments or anything on those? Jan, you were there, for you, I put you absent because you were there for the, is this the meeting where we had a joint and then you, yeah. just sleep, okay. Yes. I know you were there the other one, but I think you had to slip out for the, our, our meeting. Um, so, nobody has any questions, concerns, yep. or edits? Can we make a motion to accept the minutes of May 2nd? Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Um, and then we were just uh, given um, some executive session minutes from November. November. Um, and these are just to uh, approve again. Um, we will release them at some future time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so this was uh, who's think this is releasing them as well. So I think we did a series of things at that meeting. Uh, we dealt with minutes from prior meetings. Gotcha. Right? Um, Interesting, actually, that I don't know that we had to do all that in executive session, but we did. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, have to, would we have to do it again in open session? Um, well, right now we're just approving what we did at that meeting. Mm -hmm. and as you can see, at that meeting, what we did was release a whole bunch of executive right. sessions from prior years that it looks like hadn't been done. Oh, gotcha. you know, from 14, 15, yep. 16. Okay. So right now, today, we're just approving these mm -hmm. minutes from this meeting, and then some future date we'll release, make them public. Gotcha. Because so there's so much interesting stuff in here. Thank you, so Mark. To uh, approve the executive session minutes from November 8, 2017. Okay. Second. 
Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Thank you much. <clears throat> Betty? Good evening. Um, so, um, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I sent you your report at like 1.03 a.m. in the morning because um, I was in a training and that's when I got to it Monday night and I was like, I gotta get this on. <laughs> um, but so right now our, in our general in our general ledger budget um, in the report that I sent you, it looks like we have a lot of money left over, um, $304,591.07. Um, but we have warrants tonight, um, 13 warrants for $156,755.96. And of that number, um, 65,719.95 and 34,705.56 hit that 304 number. Uh, we're also, we know what we have um, to, that we know we have to pay out, and then we're going to switch some more school choice payroll over to the general fund. Um, so what will happen is right now we're estimating we're going to have about $143,725 available. And um, the good news is we will only have to pay for the bad debt for lunch <coughs> because through April, and I have to verify these with the town ledgers, through April we are making a profit of $13,621.83. At this same time last year, we were in the hole $5,715.60. So the small changes that we have made um, from our last June's uh, audit of uh, the food service program is really turning uh, us around and it's good because we are in need of some equipment in the kitchen. Um, we just had to get a new, um, what is it, a warmer. warmer and um, we did receive our, our new milk cooler um, from the um, uh, Place 60 grant and we'll be looking again um, at the Play 60 to see if there's any more uh, grants that we can take advantage of. Um, so of the 143725 that we'll have available, um, I had a, a conversation with Mr. Lesko, uh, Mr. Scott Paul, and Tina, and Bob's got enough projects on his plate right now, so we're going to focus this summer on technology, and we already have two warrant articles that we're going to spend doing the maintenance on the couple of classrooms we're reflooring and keeping working on the locks. So Scott, Tina, and I will get together to talk about how we'll spend that money on technology purchases. And what we're really looking into right now, what Scott's investigating, is uh, a new generation of smart boards because ours are pretty at end of life. Uh, there's new, um, new systems out there that are cheaper and better and easier to maintain. At this point, our smart boards, it's easier to buy new ones than try to repair them. So that's what, um, with your approval, that's what we'll be looking at to do with any available funds. Is that, is that a number that needs to be essentially spent down? Yes, to zero. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, and it so could be possibly 143 on technology. Yes. Through Scott. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to. If there's bad debt in the lunch, we'll have to. We yeah. have to cover that. We have to put that back in. Yeah. Um, and then we might look at the equipment in the kitchen to see if there's anything we can Scott, buy. I've already met, and there's a big list. I don't know. Did he forward it to you? He has it. Yeah. Because okay. I still think he's working on pricing. Okay. There's a big list. Some of it was like server air conditioning for the room that the server is in to. Um, maintain the health of that equipment. Mm -hmm. We're looking at Chromebook carts so that we can do some NCAS testing uh, two grades at a time mm -hmm. instead of the one grade at a time. We had iPads on the list, mm -hmm. smart boards, there's a big list. And then, okay. um, do you know if we um, had any luck with the Green Communities Grant at all? I know we were trying in town to get some money for that and I don't know, I know that back door by the gym is in a mess It needs to get fixed. Um, there were some security issues that Carmichael brought up about that too, and I just wanted to make sure that's on the radar as well, as far as you know. Mm -hmm. um, Which door, Trevor? Back by the um, by the gym, the back mm -hmm. door of the gym. School time one. That's on no, the list. It's well, I guess it should be the one on the on this hallway yeah. all the way at the yeah, end. Yeah, the five six wing by the out of school time. It's on the list. It's on the purchase order already. It's in my principal report. Good. Mm -hmm. And the three four wing is 
pre-K is already done. They did the pre-K K So I would need those purchase orders so I can <clears throat> keep track because we're at that critical point now that every time you set, I have no record of what you're sending out POs, so you need to forward them to me, Tina, so I can Bob put them in. Them. Okay, I will check with Mr. Let's go. He, he sent this update because it says, um, has a purchase order. Okay. Fire and security has a purchase order. Yeah, he's doing the uh, smoke detectors, right? Yeah. I think. Yeah, see, that's a, some of our last year's summer money, some of those projects aren't done. And right. th those bills should have already been paid. So the parking lot is still, the lines are supposed to be getting painted this coming week, okay. um, either today or tomorrow, isn't it? He said most of these projects were started at the end of the school year. I'm just reading. He sent me a blurb to put in here and said um, that. Cocott, is that what you call it? Has yeah. a purchase order to pave the sidewalks at the rear of the school in Marking Inc. Has a purchase order to repaint all the lines in the parking lots and at the front of the school. Most of these projects will start at the end of the school um, classes, June 22nd. It should complete in a few weeks. It's hard to paint the lines if the cars are parked. But those projects were supposed to be done last summer, and that's what we keep doing. We keep load five schools load up Mr. Lesko with projects in the summer Mr. with available Lesko money, and he can't get them done. And the accountants are saying to me, I can't hold this account right. encumbrance. It's supposed to be closed by now. Yep. So we're going to focus on technology this summer. Okay. okay. So could I make so uh, this is wonderful, <laughs> but we find ourselves in a fairly nice place, I would say. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering, um, technology is great, but what about sort of other general improvements like you know? Would the music teacher, or the art teacher, or the gym teacher, or the librarian like have a wish list for certain the things that they maybe want to just teacher has already through? purchased. I gave him a set amount of money. He's purchased okay. equipment. The librarian has a line item already. That is a pretty substantial line item. Okay. Um, I mean, just the music like teacher got furniture or hanging around yeah. kid reading sofas in here. Or just those yeah, fire things. code issues. Fire code <laughs> drugs. I mean, I'm just talking the kids, drugs. like, yes. you know, making, well, and parents are I mean, the school, like, here's another them. issue. Their bathrooms are a mess. They need to get done. But that's we're, above. We're district, district why all the bathroom yeah. stalls have to be done. Yeah. Yeah. And that's major money. Yeah. So yes, it is. That's going to probably something. When Bob finally gets around to getting me a price, that's probably something we're going to be putting on more in articles at the town at the next town meeting to get bathroom partition stalls. Yeah, we were able like to do them at nice. one school because we had a person who was capable of installing, but we don't have that person um, in all the other schools. We need that person. <laughs> well, unfortunately, he He's just resigned. <laughs> Okay, well, you know. And I, I just had a question on, um, as we're replacing hardware doors, uh, the safety uh, meeting last week, mm -hmm. the week before, there was talk about keyless entry. And um, so, I, I mean, we're investing in new doors, mm -hmm. but we may turn around within another year or two after that and have a keyless entry. Well, then maybe that's what we've got money from the town on the warrant articles that are, are for door locks. I don't, it's not specific, not specific. to what type of door right. lock. So maybe we need to send Mr. Lesko in the direction of let's stop getting the architect to put real door locks on there and how do we go to a keyless um, mm -hmm. fob system or some type Chief of has system. He's done that at the town yeah. hall, so he started that with a little hit yeah. of thing in the door. And as he, as the doors of the high school were replaced, the infrastructure within the doors right. to be able to accept the keyless entry, those All doors right, yeah. are, have been replaced. Right. They're ready for it. Good. It's just a question of putting uh, it in. Bob and I have had a conversation, and we're, uh, he's um, looking to move forward four doors right now with the key code. Um, I don't know what that looks like because first the door hardware has to be replaced, and there's some sure. doors that are he's mm -hmm. redoing completely, and then he said he would look towards the four. Yeah, the number that was cards. thrown out was surprisingly affordable when, mm -hmm. I, when I heard it last week. And yeah. it's like, mm -hmm. geez, Well, that's if your doors are ready. Single. Right, I, I understand. And, it's the, and, when the door, and that's what happened, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, some of you won't, um, in Regina's last year, we went to the town, all four towns trying to get to fix the door locks at Frontier, and they approved that money, but when we went to look at the, the doors were not ready for that type of thing, and all the doors had to be replaced, so we never took the money from the towns because we had to get the door issues door fixed. Mm -hmm. yeah. fixed first. 
So. Uh, in a school, for instance, in the, in the high school, they're only looking at three, three sets of doors, three entryways. Right. Right. And so in this building, it would be two or three, mm -hmm. one from the playground and one from the front. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's not every Everywhere. single door, it's right. just right. three main entries. And it's easier to control for a key control. Yep. It would be a card. Absolutely. That would be a And that they could be shut off. Yeah. They, you can cancel, or you can say somebody can come in only during certain hours. If you're a coach, you can only be here. Yep. That's, yep. That's a smart mm -hmm. system for sure. So, is, what's the school choice situation at the end of the year? Is that all? We won't know until we file. Um, <clears throat> we're, um, I don't know when the, the, they're due, but um, Karen Ferrandina, our SPED director, is working on our SPED increments, um, and they will, get, they will get submitted, and we should know by uh, a couple, like maybe the first week or two of July what our final numbers are. So and then, and that's the other thing. There will, uh, there will be other, we're not spending as much money in school choice as we thought we would because we're using general fund money. So if there is a project do we want to do in the fall when Mr. Lesko's schedule goes down, we can approve it out of school choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so are you, I guess my question is, are you looking for a vote tonight? Um, or just a general nod of agreement that you agree with Tina and, and, uh, my, uh, and my plan for getting us to zero. <laughs> As long as it's spent on the elementary school. That's all we can I, do. I know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have. So, with a concentration on technology. And we, and we, and we will, David. Please. Tina will reach out to, you know, she'll yeah. also reach out and see if anybody's in need of anything within fire code safeties. Yeah. When we have some teachers moving classrooms, and uh, I know that they're going to need some things as well. Do they refinish the floor in the gym? Every year, do you know? Summertime. They will redo that again. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I think we bring Brian over to help with that. To Brian Richo, because he's our um, he's the head custodian at Frontier, and he knows. So he How usually directs the projects on the on the floor, on the gym floors, because yeah. they yeah. are um, not the same as bucking right. a tile right. floor. So it means he usually it means directs that. <laughs> Okay, any more questions for Patty or Tina about this? No? Okay. Yeah. Any public comment this evening? Public is satisfied. That's yeah, good. Um, unfinished business. So the cafeteria team leader position and salary schedule for that. Who's handling that? So last month we brought you that information. Uh, the, uh, it was actually spoken to, spoken about at the April joint meeting with Mary DeLusa, our uh, cafeteria uh, food, service food service director. And so what we did was we brought that to you last time. And so we're looking for a vote on the position and the salary. And right now we have two interim people um, working and when this gets approved we can make them permanent appointments and as we explained to you in April we had told them that we would have this done by April so these will be retro back to April I mean to January I'm sorry we told you in April we were supposed to have this done in January so these people have been doing the work all year so when you were, if it gets approved tonight they will get permanently appointed and their pay will be adjusted back to January Question, Ken? I, I, the only question I had was, as I, as I read this, and I apologize for not bringing it up beforehand, but um, it would be, we have a performance responsibility on practicing uh, sound food allergy prevention. Is there any thought to encouraging the cafeteria team leaders to become allergen certified? Um, they're all serve safe. Certified. I understand serve safe, um, but that's but different. I, than I can talk to training. Mary about allergy training. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not aware of that, but um, mm -hmm. I will bring it up to Mary. There is a certification that um, an individual can get for allergies or for allergen. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's, a, it's like an allergen certification so that they're. And, may, and maybe we just have Mary do it and Mary be responsible for five schools depending on the cost of right. the training. It's, it's, but it's fairly important to have someone on staff that's, and you have it here, and 
it, it is a process, but in this day and age, the food allergy is just becoming more and more. Is this a how to treat somebody, like from the nursing staff who has it's, it? Or it's, you're prevention. it's prevention. It's preventative uh, measures. Um, the, the nursing staff, <coughs> the food directors, the cafeteria team leaders have to review every student that has an allergy. And I, I mean, in my school, they're all posted on the wall. And I was they're very much aware there's pictures of the students the, the, the hanging. The, the staff is very much aware of who they are, but it's mm -hmm. an ability to read ingredients on the food you're serving. Um, it, it's quite a process, it's particularly if you have someone with a, a true life-threatening allergy. I don't know if we have any that are that severe in, in this school, but in ours, we literally read every time food comes in and before it's prepared, the ingredients are read and where that was prepared and everything. It's quite a process in this day and age, so. It is, and I will tell you, as, as someone who suffers from a severe carrot allergy, you have to be on high awareness all the time. I, can, I can't eat out, it just, it's just too, too difficult because carrots hide in the weirdest place. <clears throat> so, and that was just the question I had, so. I'm sending her an email as we speak. Okay, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we, we had budgeted this already, you know, the, um, the non-union personnel that was planned for and budgeted already in FY19. Mm -hmm. That was planned for and budgeted already. What? These 2% these raises yes. for all, okay. Okay, motion, anyone want to make a motion? Or? I the and make a motion to approve the position and salary schedule of the cafeteria team leader. Position description, I assume. Okay. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So moved. Thank you. Um, just while we're on cafeteria, I meant to ask you when you were doing your financial report, is it a little, the success of the cafeteria, is that a little, too surprising? Maybe it's there was something me a little strange. Nervous. Okay, it's it makes me a little nervous. nervous. So um, I just requested from Brenda Hill, our town accountant, the yeah. ledger, and I'm going to balance yeah, my ledger to her ledger. But fine. when okay. I think about it, we are down one whole person at eight hours. So, mm -hmm. you know, eight hour, um, seven okay. hours, uh, okay. 180 days. Yep. Us being to, in the so. positive right there makes sense. Is it paramount? Yeah. So, okay. Um, and, and our participation is up. And I will give you final, when we, uh, Mary and I get together, we will send out over the summer comparisons of the participation levels between last year and this year. Okay. Uh, so moving on to the non-union salary recommendations. Those were maybe handed out at the last meeting, but they're not in today's package. Yes, they were. We presented we those in May then, for your okay. review and, and for vote tonight. Okay. Um, and it was pretty much a standard 2% um, increase across the board? With one exception at the main office. Okay. And... Um, who was that? That wasn't... That was um, our, our newest IT specialist. We did, uh, Scott Paul requested uh, due to a salary survey that he was making under what uh, most uh, IT specialists in this area were making, and he asked if we could adjust him. Okay. So okay. he his his uh, he's going to go from he's going from an hourly rate, and we're making him salary. Okay. Is, uh, right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Okay. Um, Motion to approve the non-union salary recommendations for the... Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, so moving on to the policy changes and additions. There is a long list. Yes. And I guess my first question is... I think Mary should give us a full yeah, summary of... <laughs> <laughs> um, can I just ask, there were three policies that were included in our packet mm -hmm. that had some newer changes, is that right? Mm -hmm. So are those not being voted on? Mm -hmm. 
Sorry. Did you did you cross check it? Because I thought I saw school choice on there. J BB, JFBB is, is, is there. Um, we um, added that language to several, um, the updated language to include uh, uh, non-discriminatory uh, actions, uh, including pregnancy or pregnancy related. Okay, but there's also things that are crossed out on these three that were just sent to us. I guess my, I don't really, I mean, I, uh, my question really is do, I, I'm happy to include them all in and get this over with, but I know that in the past we have sort of presented them, thought about them, and then um, voted on them later. I think the, the piece that you're thinking about with the school choice had to do with the high school, and it, it was something to the effect of the uh, placement in classes at the high school would go to resident students yeah. before, but in reality it, it goes by grade level. So seniors would get the, um, the, the choice first and then it goes to juniors and sophomores because they conceivably have another year or two years to take that same course. So it, we wouldn't give priority to resident versus school choice, but to seniors versus juniors versus sophomores. And that was what we were asked to take out, and that was at the Frontier meeting. And okay. we did meet afterwards, uh, Phil, Greg, and Bob. I don't think you came to that one, and we, we took that out. That was at the request of the high school principal. Okay. Um, can I just ask on the school choice policy, at what point is the drawing determined? in terms of when a drawing would occur, because it talks about, um, um, you know, the we have to have a drawing, yeah. but if they come in, if an application comes in every kind of three weeks. We have to set a deadline. That was updated. There should be a deadline for um, mm -hmm. a okay. cutoff date for in, accepting applications. In the posting that's posted in the newspapers, you mean? Correct. Okay. That they should be received so, by such and such a date, so then we, we, we then can anticipate whether or not we will need that lottery. What, um, what we changed on it was uh, once the, uh, the numbers are presented to the school in April, then it's open. Uh, the original, the, the one that was recommended, the policy recommended by NAS was that there would be a lottery at the end of the June and then one at the end of the summer and we said no, that we would do it at the end, of, that was it, just one before the end of the school year. Okay, so it doesn't say that in here? It just crosses off the two, the only reason I'm asking, it crosses off the drawing language about two mm -hmm. and then just says that um, the, the selection of non-resident students for admission occur upon approval of the school committee, right. I mean numbers and be in the form of a random drawing when the number of requests exceeds the number of available spaces. So exactly. I was just curious how you, so you have in your mind a date that there's a cutoff and you're gonna have a drawing. If the school committee approves five seats in third grade and we end up with seven applications, that's when we drop it. That's when that class is closed and we do a random drawing. Okay, and you're saying that the, 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 the deadline on the posting to the public about when they need to get there. It was not. Okay, so that's why I'm just saying as a... I didn't put a, a deadline on the posting. No. You did not? I did not. Right, on the right. so then, so then, um, so then the question becomes, mm -hmm. do you, you know, so Dave Sharp sends in a choice thing, do I get accepted because I'm the first one in, or do you wait mm -hmm. until a certain point and then do a drawing? We waited to a certain point in April. We didn't put a posting, we didn't put it on the posting when the applications were due by, but we pulled, um, well, we didn't have to pull. You would have pulled that. Well, we would have pulled at the end of April. So, so we any, can clarify at that. At any point, too. the applications exceeds the number of seats. Mm -hmm. That's when the drawing happens. So it could be May 1st for third grade, you know, May 10th for fourth grade. Well, I think there's a question. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think the question involves when people can apply, how, mm -hmm. how late is right. What's the deadline yeah. that right. we cut? Off we the application right. process. So next year, right? Yeah. So yeah. we, if we're posting yes. April first, it should say all applicants, all app interested applicants should have their applications in by May thirtieth. 
for the following year. Right. Right. I'm just, I just know this is a <laughs> choice can be a very sensitive issue because these are parents and families who are generally really wanting to yeah. be here. And if there's any sense that things aren't there, mm -hmm. you know, when they know there's multiple people, you just, we, we all collectively need to be able to uh, present them with a, with a system that makes sense. So the other thing that I would recommend, Tina, because you're new, is I would time date stamp when you receive them. Okay. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you want to make a It's not so much, change? I don't really need a motion to change it, but I just, uh, th there needs to be a, the people need to know what the system is when they're applying, I think. So that's so a policy, and then Tina can do procedures. Does it close May 30th if, if there's? So what if not? Or until filled, until, until slots, slots are May 30th or yeah. until slots are filled. Mm -hmm. So then somebody might come along. But usually parents are savvy enough that they want to know by June 1st sure, where the kids are going to be placed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that'll be fine. Just make sure date by. And then when we reach that number of more apps per, per seats, then that's closed at yeah. that point. We well, can't close. Well, you can't close the period if you set a deadline date. You've got a deadline date. You can keep taking right. them. You could exactly. have 15 yeah. instead of seven. Well, there you go. So. And then you could pick oh, there, yeah. Okay. okay. So there's a deadline and there's a draw after the deadline. Somehow. Got it. Good. Okay. And I'll put that in the notes if that's OK. Yep. Deadline and then a drawing after the deadline. Do we care about spelling errors? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Good. Sure. So since we are educated. So just on the uh, social, social, social media policy, mm -hmm. device instead of device on one uh, F, inappropriate contact via phone or electronic device. Oh, it's a device. It should be a C in there, yeah. Okay. Spell check wouldn't have caught that. But I get no, I, I'll make sure that it's um, when it goes online. So, I don't really have any other comments, but um, on, the, on Mary's the recommendation, Mary, right? I guess I'll, should we entertain a motion to approve all of the policies that are before us tonight? Second. Who made the original motion? I'll make a motion to approve the adoption of and amendments to the various policies recommended by the Frontier Regional Policy Review Subcommittee. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Mary, you are owed a drink by all of us. Yes. Yeah. Well. Water? <laughs> and you are too. Oh, thank, you. Ah. thank you to Lynn as well. Yeah, right. Lynn, right. Lynn, Lynn like, wanted that drink. You're doing it for a bone out. I was going to say, yes, but Lynn did all the work and had, when we went to our meeting, she had everything ready for us and thank you, Lynn. Thank you. kept us on track. And did a great job. Okay. Um, so we voted, the cafeteria, we voted the non unions, <clears throat> we approved the amendments. Uh, any new business? Not really. So, um, any news from the collaborative? We had a good meeting. <laughs> well, on average, are a little bit longer than these. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, they are but, uh, <clears throat> You might not be surprised that a lot of is uh, discussion about the budget, last year's budget, next year's budget. Uh, the superintendent had a uh, thorough evaluation, so there was some good conversation about that. Uh, things that I think are a little more rele relevant, at least at this table, for the students and for the teachers. Um, they have some great social justice uh, initiatives, and training for teachers. Uh, a lot of this is online, and there was also a pretty detailed uh, presentation on attention to early childhood and even early childhood me mental health evaluation mm -hmm. and support. Um, I'm not sure exactly the age. Uh, they would have been referencing, but um, in any case, they, they were speaking about attention to the youngest of students. Yeah. Um, so it was a good, it was a good gathering. I, I, as always, I think uh, visiting a website is is a pretty yeah. good look at the work they do. Great, massive, massive mm -hmm. amount of work. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, uh, Tina. Sure, I'd like to introduce and welcome Carolyn Eddy, who is now in charge of school choice. And our new assistant hey. principal. <laughs> Welcome. So we're excited to have her back.
back in Deerfield. She um, was working in Deerfield before in the Daybreak program and currently over at Frontier as the educational team leader, so you may recognize her. In the town, child went through the system. <laughs> I can That's vouch great. for her energy because she pulled an all-nighter the other night I with me. Oh. I was there. Oh. Oh. Was that your last one? <laughs> Dance, we can have you go to. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an all nighter. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and many days. So I think I'll skip the facilities because I think we talked about a lot of that. Um, we have a lot of uh, events going on right now. And funny enough, the last week of school, we don't have a whole lot um, planned because I think. The nine school uh, we snow were planning days. Being here. <laughs> I'm getting here because we're family. Um, so we have sounds across America that, thanks to a multicultural grant in a partnership with Karen Green, they're, they're coming on Tuesday. It's Robert Ticknell, and he's going to perform a 45-minute um, multicultural, multilingual folk music journey for us. Um, we have screenagers coming in. Our fifth and sixth grade are going to be watching that on June 15th, I believe, and we have a family showing on June 11th. Uh, we just went through two days of Junior Olympics, so a big thank you to all the Union 38 PE teachers, and a special thank you for to Tom Scales for organizing that for DES. Um, the grades three through six participated in numerous activities like running races and softball toss. Um, I mean, it was really great to uh, have the opportunity for the students to have the opportunity to meet all the students from other different UVA schools. And step up day is, uh, was yesterday. And that was um, exciting for the sixth graders. We saw Carolyn Eddy there too, so pulling double duty. Um, and that was great, so thank you to uh, Principal Modesto and uh, Assistant Principal Scott Dredge. We have K visitation night happening tomorrow night here, so we're pretty active these next two weeks. Um, and then there's some classroom news. So kindergarten just went to the Hitchcock Center. And exciting news, Kathy Dorball, was that you? <laughs> they know I love a good fun. Um, anyways, there have 11 of their 21 eggs have hatched. Um, students That's actually a really good percentage. Yeah. That's it. That's Not great. Get 10 out of 14 at Frontier. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carolyn's competitive. I was just thinking <laughs> that. <laughs> You're right. It's going to be okay. Another skill you are bringing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, the first graders will have to say goodbye to their fluffy friends. Uh, that's uh, this week. Oh. Where do they go? They're going to a beautiful farm in Conway, as I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to give a plug to the beautiful farm in Conway? Special farm? No, no. <laughs> it's going to a very beautiful farm, and they're going to be well cared for. Um, so in second grade, the students are wrapping up their flat Stanley project. Um, oh, that was fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm skipping over the second page where they said that they had many slideshows and videos, and so integrating technology for the project has really enhanced the learning, so that's great. Plugging the technology piece yes, here. Did you catch I that? Do. Okay. Um, and then fifth grade uh, students went to Bondi's Island again, and they really love that field trip. I know it sounds. Yeah, great. With that. Uh, awesome. I know. Send them to Deerfield. We need a lot of help. <laughs> it really doesn't, though. It's important. Yeah. I worked in Angwam and drove by it every day. It's it's How not going, and they're it's saying that they're leading it, and they're doing a fabulous job with the kids. The kids love it. They have a lot of activities, hands-on activities for them. I can't really speak to whether it stinks or not. I hear it doesn't stink. I actually haven't been there. And then sixth grade has recognition day on June 14th. So sixth grade has been busy, as Trevor yes. knows. <laughs> yep. Double duty. They've been busy, but got a lot going on. Yeah. Talk to us a lot. Take the school. Thank you, Wonderful. All right. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Again, and thank you for coming back next year. <laughs> yeah, got Carolyn quite, and I. Quite a year, got great year. Choice for good. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> hey, I have connections at the Hoyoke Genie if anybody ever wants to do a trip to the Hoyoke Fish Lift. Ooh. Because that is a fish. phenomenal. Uh, the fish ladder? The, yeah. the, it's a, it's yeah. a lift. Yeah. 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 Is that a hand up over there I saw? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions for Tina? 
No, well, thank you, Dina, thank you, uh, for all you're doing. All right. right here. Superintendent Carey? I don't have anything tonight. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. And I don't think we have any executive session. Uh, employment list. I noticed there was a change. Did somebody is there any retirements or just some shifting? We have uh, retirement. Yeah. One retirement. Okay. But the six grades have changed. Isn't it? We've that one was already oh, okay. announced, I believe. And yeah. you have a new head custodian. Yeah, we have a new head right. custodian. I I do want to talk to you about the appointment thing after okay. offline. Uh, okay. Anybody have anything else before we adjourn? I. I would just like to thank Dr. Carey for her mm -hmm. service mm -hmm. and uh, dedication to the Union 38 and the Frontier Regional Districts and wish you well in your next endeavor. Thank Sounds you. like an exciting opportunity. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, motion to adjourn then. Motion to adjourn. 6.42 or 3.